Welcome to the Pharmacy Technician Spring 2020 Open House. I'm Bobby Thomas Bailey and I'm a faculty member and a coordinator for the program. We're thrilled that you are considering Fanshawe for your studies and would like to share a little bit of information with you. So what's a pharmacy technician? Well, they are highly trained healthcare professionals who collaborate with pharmacists and other team members to provide patients with optimal care. Pharmacy technicians are regulated healthcare professionals who've completed a two-year CCAP accredited program and completed registration processes. Talk a little bit more about that in a bit. Fanshawe's program is, a, is fully accredited by CCAP, so the Canadian Council for Accreditation of Pharmacy Programs. In our latest accreditation, we were noted as meeting our exceeded national standards set for pharmacy technician programs across the country. So what does accreditation really mean? Well, Fanshawe's program ensures that students have the opportunity to gain the knowledge, skills and abilities to practice safely. Students get to engage in activities that allow them to become confident in pharmacy practice. So students completing Fanshawe's accredited program are considered to be CCAP graduates, which means they can access registration processes upon graduation. You might want to check out www.ocpinfo.com and learn more about pharmacy technician registration process as a CCAP graduate. So what happens after graduation? Well, You'll have the opportunity to complete the registration processes and use the protected title, Registered Pharmacy Technician. Only RPHTs can call themselves Pharmacy Technician or Registered Pharmacy Technicians. It's a protected title in Ontario and many other provinces across this country. Once registered, you'll be able to take new prescriptions from prescribers, verify prescriptions completed by pharmacy assistants, prepare sterile and non-sterile products, work with not automated dispensing equipment, interact with patients and customers to obtain best possible medication history and other pertinent information. You will also assist patients with over-the-counter products and educate them on diagnostic devices and home health care needs. As an example, you might show a customer how to use a blood glucose meter and take a small sample of blood to test for sugar. You might be called upon to make a sterile product like an antibiotic injection to be administered by a nurse. You might also prepare a cream, lotion, or other non-commercially available product. But to get there, you have to have certain admission requirements. I'm sure you've seen these before. However, they are here just in case you needed a reminder or if you're currently finishing up some of the courses. There are also some post-admission requirements for placement, so check out the program webpage at www.fanshawc.ca for more info on these requirements. Also, if English is not your first language and you did not complete four years of English in a high school environment or higher in Canada, you'll need to complete an English language test. Advisors are available in the office of the registrar to answer all of your questions. So these are some of the areas you'll study over the courses at, of the four terms. Each new group of students starts in September. These are all the courses you will study in level one of the first year from September to December. Here are the courses you'll study in Level 2 from January to April of your first year. These are the courses you'll study in Level 3 of the second year of the program. Community placement typically occurs on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, while classes occur on Mondays and Tuesdays. And these are the courses for level four from January to April of the second year. 
You'll be placed in a hospital placement environment Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Classes will continue to occur on Mondays and Fridays. So how exactly will you learn? These are just some of the ways you will learn to develop the knowledge and skills needed to be competent in practice. Simulated lab activities, individual pair group activities, assignments, interprofessional education sessions, reflections, lectures, quizzes, tests and exams, and community and hospital placements. Our main lab has 41 stations with lab equipment and computers at each one. Dispensing supplies seen in drugstores, long-term care pharmacies, and hospital pharmacy departments are available for students to practice on during labs and simulations. The Community Pharmacy Simulated Lab has additional student workstations and provides a safe place for students to practice working in a community setting without actually leaving the campus. We also use this space for interprofessional education practice activities with various program students. So IPE activities are utilized in many courses to allow students the opportunity to see what working in the real world with other healthcare professionals is actually like. So interprofessional education occurs when two students from two or more professions learn about, from, and with each other to enable effective collaboration. The goal of IPE is to prepare students to work with other health care professionals during placement and after graduation. Ultimately, the goal is to improve overall patient health outcomes. These are some of the examples of the program that the pharmacy technician students collaborate with. So, for instance, practical nursing, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Police Foundations, and then pharmacy students at the Waterloo School of Pharmacy. There are also additional off-campus volunteer-only opportunities. Through LISA, Travel Through the Professions, and Chronic Care Pain Management as examples. Community placement is a time to take what you have learned in the classroom, labs, and simulated spaces and apply it in the field under the direction of a registered pharmacy professional. No need to look for a placement. We will survey you to find out what area of London or another city in the area works best for you. Activities, reflections, assignments, and quizzes are also required during your 200-hour placement. Hospital placements are available in London and other areas. You will be surveyed regarding your preference, however you must realize that travel may be required. It is an opportunity to practice under the supervision of a registered pharmacy technician, and activities and reflections will guide your learning during the 160-hour placement. Some students find employment after completing their community placement before they're even graduated. Graduates will find work in community pharmacies and hospital pharmacies, and these are just some of the examples of pharmacies that hire our graduates. Other career opportunities occur in long-term care and specialty type pharmacies, <clears throat> such as long-term care and home health care. So long-term care pharmacies such as many systems, classic care medical pharmacies, some compounding pharmacies such as commissioner's pharmacy, um, specialty type clinic pharmacies, 
with more experience, there's also positions with sterile product pharmacies, third-party plan providers, and automation companies. Thank you for considering Fanshawe as your college for furthering your education. Check out www.fanshawec.ca for more information, including a great video. Thank you.